over to Adam, he's going to run you through everything. Well, you ask some questions, tell me, yeah. what, tell me what you need to know about the thing. Right, well, uh, just like to know basically about the uh, vents you built really. Yeah, so basically we've done. got a car speed, it's um, fully space framed, it's got two 2 litre turbos, each engine makes around 600 horsepower, yeah. uh, six speed gearboxes, yeah, it's been a labour of love for the past 10 years. Yeah, it's a bit of fun. I yeah. quite enjoy the thing. Yeah, what made you get into it to decide to do it? Um, I wanted massive amounts of power in a car. Yeah. Couldn't afford anything Japanese. Yeah. Uh, at the time in the 2000s, there were some twin engine cars coming out. Golfs, a Nova. So, and, and I've always been a builder more than ever driver. So I thought, what's the biggest build you can do? Twin engine car. Yeah. So what sort of spec on the engines are they? The engines are uh, two litre turbos. So you've got uh, VXR cranks, steel rods, Wozner pistons, full port and polished heads with oversized valves, custom inlet, custom exhausts, uh, precision 62, 62 turbos. Right. And yeah, and you were saying about the the internals and that. What what internals are they? The... Like I just said, yeah, they're all fully forged. Um, like I say, steel gaskets. Uh, Trying to what else we've got in there. Uh, Reprofiled cams. Yeah, the usual things you do to make about yeah. make the 600 horsepower they need to make. Right, brilliant. And what injectors have you got on these? Thousand cc IDs. Yeah. Uh, they seem again not maxed out, and yeah. then doing 600 and. I think the back one did 617, not maxed out. So people who say you need these massive injectors, no, you don't. You know, no, you don't. It's been proven, as it's you proven. say. Yeah, it's actually amazing. Like you get no cooling problems with it and that. No, it's one giant radiator, and I think it's on one big long system. Yeah. Um, it does get warm, but I've never had an overheating issues. Uh, it seems to be fine. So. And you say you're running uh, charge coolers on this as well? Yeah, the engine runs twin charge coolers because the back engine's got no air going through, so I That's can't right. run into coolers. Uh, and it's just a smaller combined package. I do have to run next traditional radiators on the front. Yeah. But again, it works for me and it seems to work on the Yeah, I, as you can see, it's proven. Yeah. That. What sort of uh, sp 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 suspension setup have you got? Suspension is this is Gaz Gold's three way adjustable suspension. It's quite new to the car because I was having uh, squatting issues on the on the uh, drag strip. Yeah. So I wanted three way adjustable so I can basically make the car squat and go forward. Previously, it would pull the front wheels off the ground. Yeah, yeah. It would bounce. So I need to sort the suspension out. The car's always going to be in development. It's always going to need work. Yeah. You know yourself with your, with your VXR. Yeah. They yeah. never finish, they always need a bit of tinkering. Right, yeah. And with the actual twin engine setup, have you got it like on a 20, uh, 40, 60 setup? Or? No, the car is perfect 50 50 50. split. Uh, the car weighs 1250 kilograms, yeah. within probably 10 kilograms front to rear. I can't which way it is, they're near enough bang on at 1250 50 50. Right, and how did you get on with the linkage setups and all that? Not? The linkage is it's a gear stick with four cables, so two cables do your push and your pull, yeah. two cables do your side to side. Yeah. 
yeah. And they all just synchronise together to get to change the gear as they need to do. You can disconnect them so you can run rear wheel drive, front wheel drive, or all wheel drive. Wow. It does help because when you're on a long journey, you yeah. don't want to run both engines. You yeah. just want to run one. Yeah, that's right, exactly. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. And, what, and that's the F23 bit. Gearbox. F28 6B out the cleaver. Oh, right, oh, okay. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. And what sort of setup have you got on the inside? And, Come and have a look. Yeah. So obviously in here, if you got a quiet look, you've got a custom pedal box. The pedal box is slightly different because it has two master cylinders, so you can change both clutches at the same time. Yeah. That's the question people ask. Now if you look at the gear selector, there are your cables. So there's your side to side two. That one and that one's your back to forward. Yep. And if you look now, these two are off. Yes. That means the rear engine is disconnected. So that there is now just changing the, the gears on the front. Right, okay. And you always run it on the front. It's just it. nice. If when you're doing short trips, taking it off the trailer, driving around the pits, there's no point running them both, putting a load of heat in it. You might as well just run on the one. The nicer one to run is the front because you've got a big, thick firewall. Yeah. Within the back, you haven't. You've got a piece of perspex. Right, okay. And anything else, like, I mean, what's all the bottles there? That's... So we have a nitrous bottle and a fire extinguisher. So the fire extinguisher itself is actually plumbed into the car. So if anything goes wrong, you pull the fire extinguisher off your pot. Yep. The nitrous bottle is for uh, to help the turbo spool. We haven't had time to play with it yet, but it is in the, in the process of being installed. Because they're such giant turbos, yep. um, we're just trying to get them to spool better. Plus, the goal has always kind of been uh, 1,000 horsepower, 1,000 kilograms. I'm at 1200 horsepower at 1250 kilograms, so I'm slightly right. off. So yeah. that there will make that Helps it up, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see you running the Omex uh, system. Yeah, running Omex and the Zytronics. Uh, they will be changed over winter for a different ECU. Uh, Omex is all right, it does the job. It's not the greatest, but it's been there for the past five years and done what it needs. Yeah, yeah, as a proven, yeah, yeah. So what, you running both engines off of one ECU? No, or there's two ECUs. There's one there and there's one in the back. Right, yeah. Um, but the new ECU setup will still have two ECUs, but they will be able to talk to each other to reduce torque, to reduce uh, to help with rev matching, basically to do a lot of power management with the car. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. And you all, you've done this all yourself? You everything. Actually... Don't get me wrong, I've had a few bits with friends helping out here and there, but yeah. everything you can see in here has been touched by my hand one way or another. Yeah, no, that's bloody amazing. Absolutely amazing. Full roll cage and that, as you can see. <laughs> and it's all partitioned in the back. Is that one of the fuel tanks? That's in the, the fuel tank, yeah. Wow. And they're, they're the pumps. They're the swim pumps, yeah. Absolutely amazing. And going on, on to the front and that? Yeah, go on to the front. Yeah. Again, kind of the same kind of setup as the rear. Uh, which you try and get them as close as possible to make the power as close as possible. The only thing that's a bit different here, if you can look, look over here, there's four pots. Yeah. So we have two pots for the brake from the rear and there's two pots for the clutch because people always ask why is there four pots. That's it. But other than that, it's near enough identical to the rear engine. Wow, that's amazing. And you got the uh, adjustable verniers on it. Yeah. And that manifold's been made by yourself. Yeah, made the manifolds, the boost pipes, the exhaust. Yeah. And the intake as well. Intake's been fabricated by us, yeah, everything. That's absolutely amazing. And getting on to the charge coolers now, because yep. you actually, you've done this yourself as no, well. No, that's a PWR charge cooler. Right, okay. So people who don't know what charge coolers are, you have an intercooler where a boost obviously runs through the intercooler, it gets cooled because air is running through it, goes into the engine. This is slightly different. This is the same intercooler, but it has a water jacket. So it has water running around, which cools your, your boost as it goes into the inlet. Right. It's a smaller package and, and it's more efficient than air. Yeah, exactly. That's absolutely amazing. And what sort of uh, braking system have you got? We're on uh, Wilwood four pots all around. Uh, I think they are Astra Mark IV discs. Uh, 256 mil vented discs off an Astra Mark IV. Nothing fancy, but Wilwood four pot calipers. Wow. And all the windows, uh, like the front windows, front, original. Front, front and side windows are all original. They're still glass. Yeah. That's glass, that's glass. Sunroof's glass, that helps getting the some heat out. Yeah. The two back of Perspex, because obviously this one's got the, the fuel cap in it, and that side's got a vent to get the air through, through the, the air filters. Right, lovely. 
That's absolutely amazing. And you're saying you're going to do anything else to it? Pardon? You're saying you're going to do anything else to it? Um, the goal is literally to change the ECUs to get some power management. That's the winter job. That's why we've not really pursued anything more with it this year. We're going to change the ECUs, get some power management, and we'll be back out for the next year. Brilliant. And you don't know how we use the light? Tell myself, yeah, I'll make yeah. new wiring loose, install the ECUs. I'll have uh, EF5 parts, Chris, map it again. Uh, but yeah, we'll pull it back out March next year, I reckon. Brilliant. No, I'll be looking forward to seeing that. No, good, yeah. Yeah, no. Right, guys, uh, yeah, as you can see, I hope you enjoyed that. The twin engine course, I know a lot of you have been asking about this one and quite uh, intrigued to see what it was all about. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and catch you all soon. Thank you, guys, and thanks to Adam. Anytime. Again, cheers. Go and link up to his YouTube channel. It's the Twin Engine Corsa on YouTube and he's on Facebook too. Fantastic. Right, cheers, Adam. No problem whatsoever. I look forward to seeing you too. Thank you. Cheers. Take care. And you. Bye bye.